How's it going, everybody? Little Joe here from Back Bay Scale Customs, and I uh, figured I would show this. I wasn't going to, but uh, I figured, what the heck, I might as well. Uh, this is a new project that I'm kind of started on. Uh, this is going to be, for the most part, a box stock build completely. I may change the wheels. I'm not very sure, but uh, as y'all know, me and CT are doing the collaboration right now. Uh, I'm waiting on some parts so I can do a little bit of scratch building. Uh, I just seen Dr. Cranky's video where he was talking about the heritage of the NASCAR kit that he is building. And uh, it does have some cool heritage. That's the Chevy version. Uh, the Ford versions of those kits has a little bit different roll cage, which I think is a little bit cooler. And uh, I have a couple of those Fords that have really cool square bodies and really cool roll cages that I might just send him one. But uh, I'm waiting on some parts for the build with me and CT, and I will fill y'all in, or I'll let CT fill y'all in a little more on that. But this kit here that I'm finding out, uh, I built a 49 Merc long time ago. And uh, what I'm finding is, in the kit, it is basically... A lot of the, the sprues from that 49 Merc that we all know, the chopped one. But this kit here, uh, I'm building for a, a Valentine's Day gift for my girlfriend. She is absolutely enamored and in love with Woody's. And surfing and surfboards and paddle boards, as y'all know. If y'all follow my channel at all. Um, and she really don't give a crap about my model building to be honest with you it quite annoys her for the most part and I'm sure we all have to go through that but I am proud to be a builder and I love the art and I love the the challenge of painting and what I'm finding is woodies ha are, are a big challenge to do and uh I seen where uh Paul Turley did a, a woody a while back and and I looked for that kit, couldn't find it, but this is just as cool. And um, I'm, I'm going to do it. And, and hopefully, it'll be good enough to be in the shop. Now, this is a, a tan, like a Santa Fe tan on it. And uh, it, it's a little bit brighter on this camera here. For some reason, my light is on. But this is probably going to be the color of the car. Uh, I know it seems like it's going to be off but i'm telling you guys it's gonna pop it's going to be very cool um this kit here i'm going to try to give my best on uh, as far as paint goes um try to get it as shiny and as clean as possible i think i'm going to go with the super shiny on the metal and uh then on the wood i'm going to shoot it a satin you know, uh, shoot it gloss first and then tape it up and then shoot a satin over it and it'll make it a semi-gloss. Not flat, not shiny. But, uh, you know, I just rushed into it like I always do. And, uh, you know, Fast Jimmy, you're right about the primer and, and uh, I just rushed in it. But uh, this has kind of become my primer now. I'm fixing spots. And the importance of primer for people who do not use primer. Uh, when you sand the mold lines off of a car and everything and then you spray it that's fine but if you hit it with some gray primer it will pull out all of the imperfections and all of the mold lines that you cannot see with the bare white styrene it will pull out low spots high spots uh, uneven edges uh, mold lines you didn't even know were there so that is the importance of the primer you can paint a model straight out of the box and it'll look good. You know, it, you can do a good job that way. But if you want to make it perfect, you got to prime it first. That, that's something that you've got to do. And, you know, a lot of times I sand the majority of the primer off fixing the spots, you know. And uh, as far as, as modeling goes and doing two-tone paint jobs, you got to remember, modelers, you always do your light color first. Always spray your lightest color first, then tape that up and spray your darker color over the top of it. But uh, I guess that is uh, just about enough for now. But uh, I know y'all are chomping at the bit, wondering about uh, 
old Scarlet I got coming for CT. She's been a little bit delayed, but she's coming, guys. Uh, plays with trucks. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Uh, but she's she's just a little delayed. Uh, it takes a while to get out of Van Cleve, but uh, she's coming. So y'all keep y'all's eyes open. So I'm Little Joe from Back Bay Scale Customs, and we will see you guys later. I think. Maybe. No, wait, you can't even see me. You will see me later. I will just talk to this fucking phone. <laughs> I said phone. <laughs> Bye.